Hello, Diane here today to introduce you from Stitch Cape. Um, to introduce you to this quilt kit. Um, yeah, it's going to have all the pieces pre cut for you, even the binding will be cut, the wadding will be provided, and the backing will even be pieced for you. We'll have a bit of a seam running down just uh, on the side of the back, to the edge of the back is what I'm trying to say. Um, it is um, a free pattern actually from the Art Gallery Fabrics website. You often find this with fabric manufacturers. They do provide you with tons of inspiration for actually using the fabrics and sewing things with them because we all love to look at the patterns and the styles and the colours but actually then we're like oh I don't know what to make with it what do I make so this is what I want I want people to start using their stash or just to get sewing not just to have it stuck in a cupboard for donkey's years um yeah get using it and get sewing this was used as part of a beginner's workshop I just finished on Sunday and I want to make it available to some more people because I have some of the fabrics left over. Now it's using the Onward and Upward range by Jessica Swift and it's actually called Doggo on the Art Gallery Fabrics website. Uh, that will be provided for you as well. I'll print it off for you. Um, so you've got that there as, uh, you know, obviously tell you how to make it. Um, although I changed the binding as well. I make my binding the binding you will get in the kit is two and a half inches wide by the correct length for the quilt. Right, the actual size of the quilt is 43 and a half inches by 55 inches long. And in centimetres, all you metric people, that's 111 centimetres by 140 centimetres. Okie dokie, and the pattern's great. Um, it goes through or each row it shows you exactly how to um, piece them but obviously the fabrics you're using are different to the fabrics shown in the pattern but all you need to do to help you out with that one is on the first page of the pattern just put your um, replaced fabrics on the top See, so the fabrics I've actually used, I've put over the top of the ones that are actually in the pattern and then they've all got a, a letter in the pattern so you can still follow the pattern but using the fabrics you've been provided here. Okay, the I haven't used those two fabrics in the kit. The fabric I have used is, let's show you now, is this Kingfisher from the Get Back range. It's a white tone on tone, and I'm hoping, ah, there we go, that's better, that you can see that pattern in there. And it's a white uh, tone on tone, as you can see. I thought that fabric was amazing um, for this because it tones in so well with oh, where is it here it is i didn't even get it out all hiding behind there oops this one see that's got all those circular designs in it as well this is one of the fabrics this is the fabric that you can see coming all the way down there it's that one so you've now seen the white tone on tone and then you've seen this one right and the other main fabric that i've that's used in this design is these two here and that is this one there we go multi-directional I call it but some people can see 
different directions in it so you just need to be careful of that when you are placing it in your quilt some of the others it's more obviously directional but this one you'll have to decide which way you want them to be up and then try and stick to that in all of the spaces that it is used because it's used down here as well in my sample it is also used in the binding and I have also used it on the back okay give you a better look to see what's there um, another fabric that is used in it is this one which is gorgeous and it's called magical moment You don't need peering over the edge, do you? There we go, that's better. One of the beginners used this as her backing and I pieced it to try and um, get them lined up as best as I could, but I did end up with a funny little shape. But that's that one, that's another fabric in there. That's this dark, the dark one that's used across there. There's a mixture of large squares and smaller squares and then the white of these rectangular bits that go in between all the rows and on each row. Another one is this one in this colourway, which I, well you can hopefully see on the screen, but I would call it like a corally pink if you're struggling to see what sort of colour it is. It is definitely not red if that's what you're seeing. It is definitely a, like a pastely peachy, oh, beautiful colour. Okay, oh, you got me over the top. What more could you want? That's that one. And then there's another colourway of that fabric and that is this one. Oops. Okay, and again, that's maybe not as dark as you can see it there. It's it's, it's a deep colour, but it's not dark. I would go, I would be bored and calling that pastel-esque, but a deep pastel, yeah. Best way you can see these is to actually come and see them for yourself, but it might not be an option, so I thought a video is second best sort of thing. And the last fabric that is used in this quilt is this cutie pie. Okay, and just accept with that that you will, um, you know, it will depend on, I'll try my best to get at least heads of the unicorns, but obviously it's not possible to get it all. Um, there, yeah, I like that one, he looks like he's uh, flying on his own quite happily. Okay, so that's the kits and the fabric and that's the pattern. And like I well, I might not have mentioned it here, but in the description on my website, it does say to you that all of these pieces are pre-cut for you. The binding is pre-cut for you, the two and a half inches wide, wide binding, and the backing is pieced for you, just the one seam um, running down the back of the fabric. Now, if you don't want the binding and the backing that I've chosen, which is this one, remember? You can choose any one of those other fabrics that I've shown you to use as the binding and or the backing, okay? This is only going to be available for a limited time um, uh, and a limited amount and I cut them to order. So please don't expect them the next day because you'll be disappointed. Um, it's, I have to fit in time to cut them and then to post them etc so allow some time uh, Mother's Day coming up maybe your mum started sewing recently she wants to get started on a project but doesn't like the cutting totally hear you on that one so many people feel that um, so if you wanted to get her a quilt kit this might be the one if those fabrics please her and maybe I don't know, you can make it for anybody really, but maybe for children, but tell you what, I wouldn't say no to that. Um, yeah, and you have to do obviously your own quilting design. Um, if you want some help with that, you can always message me. Um, but the quilt kit uh, just includes the pattern which says quilters desired. 
So I've used a serpentine stitch in a, um, I might see if I can get it up to you to show you. Let me take it down now that I've done the video and I can show you the colour. That's what I mean about a serpentine stitch. You can see it better on that white. And it's in a very pale um, peachy colour to obviously go with, well, all the fabrics. But, uh, and it tones in quite, doesn't stand out too loud and proud on the whites, which suits me fine. And I've done some of diagonal. But like I say, if you want some help with the quilting design, let me know. Or do straight lines or whatever. Or if you want to if you want to make this quilt kit, if you want to make this quilt as a practice for some new fancy quilting you've been learning, um, go for it. Because it's a nice, easy, straightforward pattern. And with the, pa the pieces cut for you, um, probably with my stripology ruler, trying to make sure they're as accurate as possible, uh, it's got a better chance of success with it all lining up. Uh, it's all... All feasible, all doable, or oh, everything is workoutable. Okay, uh, I think that'll be fine now. I've rambled on probably far too long, and uh, yeah. Oh, the kit is eighty-five pounds. Sorry, I'll hopefully put that somewhere, probably below in the description. Do the old likey, subscribey. Although I don't, I'm not really a YouTube channel. I tend to do these videos more for um, certain events, uh, and then to put them in my newsletter, which is maybe where you are seeing this. Okay, okay, all funny arm movements aside, I will see you uh, soon, maybe when you make your order. <laughs>